No, there's this AC the money talks. Isn't that an AC D Tom, you're a radio talks. guy. Yeah, that's that's that sounds about money talks. I'm just trying to picture mm -hmm. Brian Johnson saying it. I already built the team once. I left it. Tom, can we Good. play Money Talks right now? <laughs> by AC I don't think we can clear that, Mike. I don't think we have we the put rights. the disclaimer that'll say this is I do not own the rights to this music. <laughs> yeah, that's all you gotta do. That's what people yeah. do, right? Yeah, they, yeah, they won't that go after you then. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Falcons Corner, voice of the Falcons, Mike Rickert, the good guy to know, the co-host back in his seat, I am Danny Berg, and then the SID flipped back behind the camera because Danny's back, Tom Perkins. I always have to make sure, make sure I make room for Danny, you yes. know? I don't want to take any well, shine away. Are you saying away. he's, because of his, he's not working out as much as he used to because he's he in just, soccer he season? Just, and like, you have to make room for Danny? You got to make like, room for me because I'm so like big some now. some hidden meeting? Between it's the you? aura. <laughs> you have to make room for the aura, you know, the mystique. <laughs> okay, all right, fine, I got it. You look <laughs> fine. I'm unlike in every other week contract <laughs> this point too <laughs> oh all it's right good to be back though it's thanks nice for welcoming good to be back yep and then uh how are mets doing yeah. great yep yep good all okay. right good so let's talk falcon football because we had some records that were set one barry brown became the all-time leading um touchdown thrower yeah, yeah. passer <laughs> I and love it. And football. Okay. Thrower. What a day. Thrower. In football, they're passers. Mike. No, throw. He threw the ball. <laughs> yeah. All over. Well, Physically, all yeah. Over. That's right. Yeah. Yes. You know? But yes. yeah, he threw two touchdown passes this past weekend. He gives him 33 for his career, which is number one all time in Falcons history. Awesome. Yeah. We so, knew it was coming. It was just a matter of when. Yep. And we scored a bunch of points, which means that Ben Passer set the record for most extra points in a game. In a game. He had 11 points, right? So he had. He had well, he had 11, 11, 11 extra points. points. It was 11 of 12. And then goals, had the field goal as well. 14. So points and he was in running for our athlete of the week he was he was legitimately in running for the athlete of the week yes. he was on the ballot along with the offensive line yes and not to hurt ben or the offensive line feelings neither of them got it right we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll keep the suspense a little bit yeah. we'll keep, you know so um but also Tom, there, there record a, setting go wins in program history right 200 unbelievable right not a record but a milestone Yes. Milestone. Well, I guess technically for us it's a record. Well, sure. I mean, every every game we record. played is a new record for Falcon football. Part of the record. Yeah. yeah. You know, but so 200, that's, uh, that's awesome. 200 wins. So where does that leave Mark at? Leaves him at 196. 196. All right. Good. All right. So, so four, four to go for his, for his 200th. Yeah. That will be very important also. Yes. That is also a milestone. Yes. And will be a record for he's going to continue to be the winningest coach in NJCAA history. Right. All right. Yep, he's the, he, he will be the first of the active coaches to cross the 200 Sorry. barrier if and when that happens. Yep. And will yes. be the sixth all-time, I believe. And he hasn't aged at all over those 200. Not at all. Over the 196 wins. You Not know, He all. still looks the same. Stress-free. Yes. <laughs> yes. He's doing just fine. He is. So God bless him. It's on this morning. Yes. So, how um, many other records, Tom? Oh, well, you know, the, the margin, mar it was 88 points. It's the most right. points we've ever scored as a football team. Uh, it was uh, an 88 to nothing victory. So, it was the largest margin of victory we've had in a football game. And it was the biggest shutout as well. Um, I haven't compiled yet the statistics right. to, to know exactly, you know, this person had this many. We've never had done that right. before. But, I mean, we had two defensive, we had three defensive touchdowns, a fumble recovery for touchdown and two interceptions for touchdowns. Right. Had a safety as well. So, the defense was outstanding. They played right. some of their best their best football all season and uh yeah it was uh it was a long game <laughs> didn't maybe didn't need to be as long as it was but well, um yeah that happens you know our guys <clears throat> our guys were excited to get on the field you know yeah. it had been 22 days right. since we had played football and you could tell 22 days and a seven hour bus ride 
Exactly. You know, uh, seven hours the day of, and then came back right, last night right. too. So they they and were they anxious made it to back, get out though. there. They made it back. They made it Tom back. Made it made it back. back. Yeah. Andrew made it back. Everyone's yep. back safely. Everybody so was on the road. Kudos to everyone handling yeah. the vehicle. Yeah. Shout, shout out to LC Bird High School. They did a. They were great, gracious hosts. Good. You know, they they had a, an okay kind of crowd there that came out to see two teams that they would have no connection right. to at cool. all. And uh, you know, it was a nice field and all that. Good. Pre- like it just. Really, really nice of them Good. to host us and, and let us play there. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. We appreciate that on short notice. Good, mm-hmm. awesome. And then there's a possibility of schedule changes again for football. So we need to stay tuned to LackawannaFalcons.com. Yes, sir. And our social media sites. Keep Tom busy. Yeah. Check his stuff. <laughs> we're just trying to. We're, he's still in like that infancy. He's like a year and four months here. Right. right. Still testing the water. Yes. Keep, keep, keeping his head spinning. Keep Tom busy. You thought last yeah, year keep, was real. How about yeah. now? <laughs> you know. So yeah, what is post COVID? So I know we had volleyball here against Harrisburg Saturday. Yeah, nationally ranked Harrisburg. Missing one of our starters. Correct. I mean, but um, they, the girls played tough. I was here, and, you know, they were enthusiastic and yeah. weren't and they down. Lost, they, they lost 3-0, they lost. but there were some really good points, and I think Coach uh, Morgan could take some uh, positives out of that and, you know, build get for the ready. postseason. Get them ready for the postseason. And let's not forget, we taped before. Uh, we, we only had the result of it on the, late, the last right. Falcons corner, but we had that try match on Tuesday yes. uh, with uh, with Morris and with um, Harkum. With Harkum. Mm-hmm. And it was it was two losses for us, but it, you, Mike, you and I were there. It was, yes. uh, it was a marathon. And really, especially in that fifth set, you can tell our kids were playing hard yeah. and really just couldn't come up with right. that final win, you know? Yeah, and just losing 16-14 in the, in the fifth, you know? Yep. But again, a good a good something to build on as they get ready because they don't play again now until their postseason. Until their postseason. And I think what's important to understand, like a fifth set, right? They've been swept previously right. by both of those schools earlier. So, you know, once once uh, Coach Morgan got her hands on the girls and it's how you finish and it's how you peak. So yep. a little bit of the break is a little bit unfortunate, um, but postseason was moved um, to, to the 29th. Right. Uh, we didn't have anything scheduled inside of there at that time, so it was tough to try to find another match. A lot of the local Division three schools uh, within the NJCAA, their postseason is the week before. So yeah, they're not they're looking to add. Today is their actual last play date, right. the 18th. So, but it's you know, it's, it's amazing to see the improvement that, that they've had. And uh, I think they're going to be, they could be like a, a true underdog, but a surprise, right. a surprise team for the conference playoffs. They're going to be a tough out. It's going to be, you know, they, we took, you said, you mentioned it. They've been swept a couple times, but they took a set from Dell Tech. They yeah. took a set from Cecil and had to lead another set. They took a set from Harkham and yeah. they had those two sets they took against, uh, whatchamacallit, against Morris. And they had match point against right. Morris yeah. and Morris just, you know, how volleyball goes. Sure. Was able to score their points to, to come up to the win. Yep. One thing for me is um, seeing the girls that came in this year that didn't have any or very little volleyball experience are contributing in a positive way. You mm-hmm. know, they're That's either awesome. now starting or, you know, in the rotation and, you know, are doing what they're asked to do. And know? it's so, huge because it gives some other people a break. Yeah. And yep. I'm also concerned. My concern is with Melanie and Michaela because they are from Florida and Texas and it's cold now yeah. here in Scranton. <laughs> so when I saw them yesterday, I said, be warning, be careful. There's a yeah. frost warning. I know you don't probably know what that days. is, but, yeah. you know, <laughs> what make sure means. you have your sweatshirt on. Yeah. And but they by look, next week, 72 degrees. Yeah. They'll, so <laughs> they're bringing their warm weather with them. <laughs> yes, yes. With them. And stuff <laughs> to too. us. So. Yeah. Um, we have an athlete of the week, like we mentioned earlier. Yeah. Are we going to? It's probably since we're recording at such short notice, and he's such a busy dude, we're probably not going to have a chance to talk to him. We will hope we can, but okay. let's not promise anything. Okay. But we, we're. Uh, Tom, we're, I'll let you announce <laughs> the athlete of the week. We're uh, athlete of the week is Darlin Useda. All right, good. Who was uh, you know baseball player, obviously baseball for player Perry picked company. up by. Coach Shipash to play yes. soccer, soccer this yeah. year, Just, and you been, know, and has been is the second leading scorer, I believe, with four goals. He had three, a hat trick last week, yep. and a victory on the road for them. Yeah, and that's why he's a busy man. He's yeah. got to balance studies, baseball, soccer. soccer. It's awesome. Yep, you know, but yeah, so excited to have have him on the show, and maybe yeah. I know there's no guarantees. No, we'll but people will happen. But if not, he's still the athlete of the week. Right, and then, <laughs> of course, here or not, you're still athlete of the week. And the time, what was the soccer results? We had, you know, soccer got a uh, they got a three-one victory, I believe, uh, this past Saturday, right. and then they Saturday also Friday. got a win yeah. during the week uh, okay. on Tuesday. Uh, They're at Harrisburg. I can't remember. Yeah, they were in a Harrisburg, and they won four-one, yes. and that was where Darlin scored his three goals. Yep. So. Yeah, good. And then women's soccer, they did play last week, right? They did. They did. And they, they also were victorious. They were. They uh, they beat Harrisburg on Tuesday, and they were at Lehigh Carbon this past Saturday. 
and they picked up another W there, and they are scheduled to play today, this afternoon, against Hagerstown Community College at right. 4 o'clock at Shouts. We don't like to say it in advance anymore because whenever we announce there's games coming up, they never happen. It used to be the prediction of the outcome. This is right. just the game getting game. played. However, it's nice outside, it's cold, and both schools and the officials have all confirmed all right so somehow that's gonna, some, so we're on. somehow that's gonna bite me in the butt tom can you do what i always like tomorrow? you to do can you put the score right here at the final just, just right game? there i'll oh, have yeah. it there it just pops up maybe you <laughs> could have joe holding a sign oh with God. the score <laughs> that would be fantastic <laughs> wouldn't that be nice you could just make a, like, a little sign joe standing i'll there. have him i'll have his picture come up with the graphic there. <laughs> the <score. Yes. laughs> challenge accepted <laughs> All right, good. Keep right. Tom busy. Yes, of course. Keep Tom PTB. busy. PTB. All right, so we may or may not be talking to Darlin. Mm -hmm. We'll see. If we don't talk to Darlin, could you put his face here so everyone can see what he looks yeah. like? All right, good. All right, good. All right, so let's take a break. May or may not talk to Darlin, but we're definitely going to see Darlin. Absolutely. And then we'll wrap up the show. All right, we're back in the Falcon Smart Basement. Imagine the innovator you could be tomorrow with an innovative education today from Lackawanna College. Our Level Up program puts high school students on an early college pathway for an easier college transition and faster degree attainment at a dramatically lower cost. That's why Fast Company named us one of the world's most innovative companies. With an education from Lackawanna College, imagine where you'll be tomorrow. This is life changing. This is Lackawanna College. Oil and gas jobs are back. Are you looking for a life-changing experience? Lackawanna College's School of Petroleum and Natural Gas can put you on a path to a lucrative career in the production and delivery of America's energy in just two years. Choose from two degree programs or two certificate programs with internships that give students real world and practical experience in the field. Lackawanna College will give you the education you need to build a career in this exciting industry. This is life-changing. This is Lackawanna College. Apply today at Lackawanna.edu. We are back on the Falcons Corner, Boys of the Falcons, Mike Cricket, the good guy, the know the co-host, Danny Berg, and the camera, SID, Tom Ferguson. Tom, you got your eSports jersey. I did. Right? And it was dropped off by Coach Delaney, or eSport Administrator Delaney, whatever we wanted to call him. Big, big Daddy Ted's. I was surprised to see that what you had on the back of your shirt. It wasn't, I thought it was going to be T.D. Tom. Yeah. What's it and it oh, says oh Ferg. Oh, it just says oh, Ferg, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think he wants to be like Berg. Oh, Berg, Ferg, Ferg. Berg. We can Ferg, make Berg. it work. Berg, Ferg. I have to tell you this, and I always I was. Thought I, I thought, I, I said, I asked Eddie, I was like, what does it say, T.D. Tom? He's like, no, Ferg. I'm like, hmm. Yeah, well, T.D. Tom, like, that was like, that's that's not. That, that's a different life. That's but the, still, it's part of I would of say you, previous Tom. life, but it's still like part of life, because he might have to, it's his alter ego. So now he's got, so he's Tom, he's dad, he's Ferg. Ferg. And then he's also TD Tom. Mm -hmm. But I have to tell you what I think is the best thing. I think the first day I met your wife, it was right when you first started, and she calls you Ferg. Mm -hmm. I think it's the greatest thing in the world. <laughs> or my, my, my Nana used to call my grandfather Berg. Like she did, you know what I mean? That they were Adolf and Ruth, right? And he would call her Mac. And I'm like, growing up, I'm like, whatever, you know, maybe name's McCune. But then growing up, she always called him Berg. And I think it's like the coolest thing. So when I heard that, I'm like, Ferg. But anyway, so that's Ferg. I think it's cool. Yeah, we can walk, we can sit next to each other. Yeah. Bergenberg. I got my shirt too. Maybe we'll wear them next week. It's very say? Rick R I K. Oh, that's my my friends call me Rick, and I couldn't be just R I C K because that's normal. Okay, so I'm R I K. Nice. Yeah. Is that is that your gamer handle? It is now. <laughs> well, usually all my stuff is M Rick M R I K. He's M Rick M Rick, but I don't want to put M Rick on the shirt. M Rick. M Rick. Yeah. Okay. Rick is like my stuff what what is what do you play what video game do you play zero zero i play nothing right now yeah huh. all right yeah, I'm, I'm trying to i'm trying to think what mike would play i know? used to love uh, arcade games yeah like i used like, to I love shaking <laughs> like ncaa college football and the sega genesis okay yeah. like all right Bill i think Walsh's it was 1994. like i love that stuff and too. i used to play of course because i'm a colorado football fan i used to be colorado and i would have rashawn salam michael westbrook you know Cordell Charles Stewart? Johnson, and then of course Cordell Stewart, Stewart and right. I would try yeah. to score hundred points. So you're saying, you, would you be interested when, if and when NCAA college oh. football comes back? No, no, because I I only could work the Genesis with the oh. three buttons. Yeah, <laughs> there's too that's many buttons. I, once, yeah. once, that's yeah, that's why I can't yeah. play games now that's, because like I see oh, them. That's too much. If I play like MLB the Show or something with the kids, like. I just want to do home run derby so I can just hit one hit button. One button. <laughs> yeah, what's the power button? Let me hit it. That's it. So that's the extent of my. With, ML, with MVP. Yeah. 
But once I get to multiple touch this, all these things, forget it. Yeah, that's I can't fair. Do that. yeah. that's fair. So Definitely. if the, if PlayStation would like to come out with just a controller with three buttons for me, then I'm for back. us, I'm back. For simple. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, <laughs> Big Daddy Ted's did deliver the uh, those yes. sleek, they're, they're they stylish, like yes. those black so, jerseys. Yeah. So we we thank Coach Delaney. For, yeah, uh, absolutely. For his gift to the athletic department. All right, so. Let's just wrap up the show. Thanks to Darlin, whether or not he talked or not. Yeah. But right. thank you anyway. Yeah. And then um, our spring sports are in their fall season. So baseball was away this weekend yeah. at Bloomsburg. And softball was away at, at Rock Haven. Haven. Um, you know, results really don't matter. But everyone, I guess, played well They're enough. They pretty well. And, and did yeah. good. I was at Bloomsburg for... You know, an hour or two on, on Saturday, so I just got to see our baseball yep. guys out there and play. And they're this, um, they're playing this weekend as well. Yep, and they'll be this weekend, and so is softball. So yeah, so softball's at Morgan State on Saturday, and, and Penn baseball State, is at Penn State, State School Hill on Sunday. Sunday and yep, baseball at is Mount. at Mount St. Mary's in Emmitsburg, Maryland. Yep, as which we just discovered. Which I drove by on the way down to football this past <laughs> yes, Sunday. Yes. So yep. and uh, that's where we're at with those uh, spring. And sports. then our winter sports are in full gear. They so are. men's and women's basketball is in practice. Wrestling is practice. You know, so so I, I mean, we got a men's basketball scrimmage Thursday. next yeah. week. This Thursday, no, this Thursday it got moved up. So they're scrimmaging at Bloomsburg on this Thursday. I was thinking of our home. One. And then yeah. they're yes. home on Tuesday, on Tuesday against Ms. Recordia. So right. Coach Willie Chandler and company coming up here. And yep. then women's, here. women's basketball is hosting Kings, right? On the 27th. On the 27th. Okay. So next Thursday. Yeah, actually, uh, the men are busy. They're they're this Thursday and then they're Tuesday. And, and then, then they're, they're down at Kings. At Thurs on the 27th. So one's here, one's away. Good. And at, they, at next Coach, thing you know, they're, they're in season. Coach weeks. Gabriel's yeah. alma mater down at Kings. Yep. So. Yep. Busy times. Busy times. Yeah. So wonderful. Yeah. All right. So make sure you stay up to date on all our stuff, like one of Falcons.com, especially on football schedules. Yeah. Um, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Twitch. Twitch. That's yes. A, got, got us with the shirts. Yep. Twitching. Twitch.tv slash Lackawanna EDU. Got it. And lackawannafalcons.com slash live. Yeah, there got it is. It. Hey, got that's it. a good one. Don't leave me hanging there. You made me fall out of my chair before. It's, I've been struggling with that one, but I got it now. Yeah. I'm good. And then I'm you good. look for the on demand. Yes. Click. Good. One button. Click. Click. That's it. Awesome. All right. Have a great week, everyone. We'll see you next week in the Falcons Corner. Take a break.